It's officially spooky season and to start this Halloween look, I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and apply it all over my face. Then I mixed the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and this Makeup Revolution White Base Matte Foundation and apply it on my face and blend it out with a beauty sponge. For concealer, I go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and I will link everything that I used in this video down below. To set the concealer, I just used a translucent setting powder. You can use whatever powder you like. For the rest of my face, I used this white base powder by Makeup Revolution and I lightly set the rest of my face. For my eyes, I used the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia and I first go in with the shade Burnt Orange. I used the brush that it came with. I apply this in my crease and blend it out. And then I go in with the shade Rustic and I apply this in my crease to create more dimension and also on the outer corner of my eyes and then I just make sure I blend it out really well so that there aren't any harsh lines and then I go in with the shade tempura and apply it on the inner corner of the eyes And the last shade I use is Cypress Umber. I use this on the outer corner to blend in the whiter shade and the darker shades together. I go back in with the fluffy brush to blend everything out, make sure there aren't any harsh lines. For my eyeliner, I use the LA Girl eyeliner and I apply it on the lower lash line. I wanted to create a really like catty look with this eyeliner so I apply it very carefully and then I blend it out with a small pencil brush. Right on top of the eyeliner I use a shade noir to blend it out as well and deepen it. With a small flat brush I use the same shade noir to apply it on my lid to create a wing. And I make sure I apply it really really close to my lash line and kind of just make it thinner on the inner corner of the eyes and more thicker on the outer portion of my eyes if that makes sense and then I go in with mascara I use the Lash Princess mascara and then I apply these Ardell lashes that I got from Ulta And then I go in with the Tattoo Eyeliner by Kat Von D to start tracing out where I want to create the mask. And you guys, this doesn't have to be perfect because at the end, um, we're going to clean this up with concealer. So don't worry if you go outside the lines or they're crooked or whatever. Just try to get them as straight as you can. Um, I was following a picture that I saw online of Catwoman. So that's what, what I was referencing on this video. I start filling everything inside the lines with this NYX Jumbo Pencil. Alright, so this is where I start cleaning up around the edges with concealer. I just grabbed a small brush to do this. And then I go back in with the eyeliner to make the edges a little bit more sharp where I use too much concealer. And because the NYX pencil is a cream product, I go in with the shade Noir because it's a powder to apply it over the cream product to set everything. Otherwise, everything is just going to slide and move around. So you want to make sure you set cream products. And some of the powder got on my cheeks, so I just grabbed a little bit more concealer and cleaned it up. 
And then I go in with the Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D and I use these two shades to contour. Alright guys, so then I applied a little bit of blush on my cheeks and tried to avoid the black area because I didn't want to smear that area or mess it up. For my lips, I used two ColourPop lippy sticks. One is a little bit darker than the other one, so I first go in with the darker shade and apply it on the outer perimeter of my lips. And then I go in with the lighter red lipstick inside my lips to create that ombre look. And to finish the lips, I apply a little bit of this Inglot glitter on my lips and I tap it on my lips using my finger. You don't have to do this, you can just leave it like just with the red lipstick. I just wanted to do it because it's Halloween and glitter and it's just fun to use glitter during Halloween. And then I go in with this banana shade from the Kat Von D palette and clean up the contour. And just to make sure everything looks seamless and blended, I go in with a fluffy brush all over my face and blend everything out. And then I finish off with this Makeup Revolution setting spray. And finally, I put on my cat ears that I got from Party City. They were only like $4. Super cheap. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and what you guys want to see next for my next Halloween look. I am not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, so please let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you guys do this look and tag me on social media. I love you guys and I hope to see y'all in my next video.